What is up, guys? All right, I'm a thief. Just kidding, I'm a stealer. Just kidding, I'm neither one. I just saw that somebody was like, hey, can you do a reaction to D-Crunch? And I was like, sure. I don't even know who D-Crunch is. So let's find out who D-Crunch is. And we're going to do that right now. Okay. All right, they come a little hard. They come hard. Let's go crazy. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Let's go crazy, dog. <laughs> Hey, actually, I really like it. Ooh, ooh. Let's give you BTS fire vibes so hard right now. How they change an outfit so fast? Let's go crazy, dog. <laughs> Let's go crazy, dog. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Okay. 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 That's the rapper right there. That's the one right there. There you go. Is it three of them? Is it three of them? Or two of them? Three of them or two of them? Three? Two. Yo, he kind of looks like Amber from FX. Give me the bridge. What you got for the bridge? How many of there? How many of them are there? I don't know how to speak those anymore. They're adorable. They're adorable. I'll give them that. They're adorable. They're adorable. All right. We're gonna we're gonna go into full detail about them. They're adorable. That's one. All right. They come a little hard. They come a little aggressive on that. I enjoy that. They they come with a party vibe, but also that little aggressive vibe. You know. So they kind of leave the door open for a little bit of more extra, more emotional songs. Like, oh yeah, I want to spit my feelings. Like some straight kids stuff. Straight kids come with that emotion. Like they used to come with that hard stuff. They, Do you feel my pain? And it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I just met you. But they come with that. We got we got the ability to go hard, or we got the ability to go party. So we can go party a little bit, and then later on, I'm gonna tell you why. You should uh, listen to my feelings because I got some deep feelings and they real, they real, they real feelings. And I want you to understand that, you know, I don't want you to think I'm a fake person. I'm a real person with real feelings, you know, so leaving that door open for the little party, party sections like, hey, let's go crazy, guys. Come on. Vamos loco. <laughs> All right. But they're also giving you that little attitude. They need to be like, hey, listen, I got to address some things in my later songs. If you guys want to join me on that, that'd be great. But if you don't, let's go. Vamos loco. Vamos loco.
<laughs> remember, remember that? Remember, remember, remember that when we used to go vamos loco? Remember when we used to go crazy together? Y'all don't. All right, man, that's cool. You know, because you can always come back to the song. You know, if you want to just dance. You know what I'm saying? Like if you don't want to feel their emotions on the other song, if they have emotional songs, I'm just saying they they open the door for that aggression and that emotion to come out when they have other songs that are deeper. You know, so I, I really enjoy them. They're really good. D Crunch. Um, maybe they're just a party group. Maybe. Uh, who knows? But I'm gonna have to find more stuff for them to see if they're a party group or they have deeper meaning. And this was just their opening to be like, we can party, but we can also get sentimental. Do you want to get sentimental with us? Huh? You want to do that? You want to get all sentimental? Because I can get sentimental. In fact, I can get real sentimental. I can talk about my feelings. Like last time I cried was when David Dobrik gave he, uh, his Ferrari. The last time I cried. Because it was real powerful for me. I felt it in my soul. It was real deep. It was real deep. Um, yeah, we getting sentimental. But, you know, we're going to have to see more stuff from D Crunch, and we will in the future. Best believe that, because I really enjoy them. They're really hype. You know what I'm saying? They got a little BTS vibe with that fire. They got a little fire. But I know I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying they're copying it. I'm just saying that music sounds the same in most part. You get ideas from everything. You know, you can't just be like, oh, this is brand new. Brand new doesn't exist anymore. You just take something and you make it better, or you adjust it to make it to your liking or your standards. So that's what I'm saying. They gave me that BTS vibe, which is not a bad thing to me because I'm just like, hey, that worked for them and that, that's a great song. I love that song. That's the first reactor video I ever did. And it brought me back to that. So I was like, cool, that's good, that's good. But you know, people might be like, hey, they're not BTS. I'm like, okay, first of all, I've been doing K-pop reactions long enough to know differences between groups. I'm just saying, I see something that is similar and I like it, okay, fine. But yeah, this is the end of K-Pop Friday, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will hope to see you next week or on the Patreon, which is all week. And I got a couple Patreon exclusives coming out, a bunch of live stuff. Um, got ATs, got One Us, you know, just a bunch of live stuff coming out. So TXT, all that. So hopefully you'll join me on the Patreon. I'll put a little preview of what is going to be on the Patreon um, tomorrow. So we'll see you there. Bye.